Uh, welcome, Wolf of Wolfettes. So we are back with the brilliant Sheepdog and Wolf, or Sheep Raider, if you're from America, on the PlayStation 1. And I hope you guys and girls are having an absolutely fantastic day. Now, quite a lot of stuff happened in the previous video. We had to cross another massive minefield. We then had to take a boat ride and dodge cannon fire. And we then had to bamboozle old Yosemite Sam and lock him in a jail so that we could climb onto his ship where the goal was for the sheep. So quite a lot of stuff happened in the previous video, but you may have noticed there were quite a few transitions and that is because I kept making so many very, very stupid mistakes. So there was quite a few transitions in the previous video. So I do apologize about that. I don't like having too many transitions in my videos. <laughs> but yeah, I think today we are gonna be doing level number 14. Now I'm not sure if there's gonna be three more levels or one more level because as far as I know, there is only one more sheep that we need to steal from Sam. So I don't know if we steal the final sheep and then there's gonna be like another random two levels or if the extra two levels are gonna be those bonus levels. I'm not too sure, but let's get straight into things and let's head on over to level number 14 and hopefully we can have a video where things don't go utterly and insanely wrong for me. Because <laughs> I've been having a very rough time in the last few videos. I think the last four videos have been an absolute bloody nightmare. Nothing but pain for me. <laughs> oh, lovely. But I think uh, level number 14, if that is the level we are on, I think it looked like another one of those autumn sort of levels, if I remember correctly. This is the one we did in the previous video. Yeah, level completed. So we are on level 14 then. This bloody camera angle is an absolute nightmare. Oh yeah, see look, level number 14. So it looks like this might actually be the final level by the looks of it. So I'm guessing the other two sheep, you can only get those from the bonus levels. So this might be the final video then. I guess we'll find out. I've got um, three bonus points that I think I already spent on unlocking one of the uh, bonus levels. So if I can work out where the hell that bonus level actually is, I suppose we can go and do that after we've done this level. But for now, let's focus on this level today and hopefully it goes well. <laughs> I've been struggling a lot. I've been struggling a lot in this game. I'm not gonna lie. Oh man, look at the state of this. It looks like there's some sort of traffic lights over there. Is that Roadrunner? Yeah, there's some sort of train. Oh, there's going to be all sorts of shenanigans going on in this level, isn't there? We've got a train track. We've got traffic lights. We've got some sort of road with Roadrunner standing on it. One sheep with Sam the Sheepdog. It looks like there's another catapult on the map. By the looks of it, yeah, I think we need to use the uh, sheep on that catapult and get the sheep over onto the road, then take it across the road and then catapult it to the goal by the looks of it. I could be wrong though. All right, let's head on in and see what we've got to do. This looks like it's going to be confusing as hell. <laughs> oh, hell yeah, got the Hogwarts Express. Look how close that sheep is to the goal, and we probably have to do the like most annoying long route available to get to that bloody sheep. <laughs> What's this? Is that a wanted sign for me? Is there only a reward for like one thousand dollars or whatever that says there? One thousand Acme bucks or whatever the currency is in the Looney Tunes world. <laughs> only a thousand? I'm worth way more than that. How insulting! Oh no, it's Daffy. What do you want to talk about? Uh, uh, everything, I guess. The train. If you want to catch the train, press this button to turn the signal red. Then, the next time the train passes through, it will stop here and you can get on. Keep an eye on this chronometer to learn when the train is going to arrive and how long it will stay. And whatever you do, don't go into any tunnels on foot. It's dangerous. Well, yeah, obviously. All right, there's a little clock at the bottom telling me when the train is gonna arrive. Okay, let's have a look on the map. Where am I then? Ah, so by the looks of it, we might need to take a train ride all the way to that 
That's a sheep costume, ain't it? Yeah. Oh no, not another sheep costume. <laughs> oh no. Sam's gonna keep picking me up. It looks like we need to take a train ride all the way over to where that post box is, possibly. It doesn't look like there's much I can do in this area. Let's have a look then. Right, so we've got a catapult over here. That's gonna be... Yeah, that's gonna be where we need to put the sheep, I guess. What does that do? Okay, that, that does something that's probably gonna be important. Okay. Just having a quick look what's around here. I like how the little clock appears when you go near the track to let you know how long the train's gonna take to arrive. I like that. Sort of like when you're at a train station and you've got all those times on the board to let you know when the train's gonna arrive and you already know, add about 30 minutes to whatever time they tell you because you know for a fact that the train is always gonna be late. Hey, it's Roadrunner. I thought I saw him on the map. Okay, we've got a seesaw over here. Now I've got no idea what we're going to be doing in this level. Normally I have some sort of some sort of an idea of what we're going to have to do, but this just seems like it's going to be I don't know. This one seems like it's going to be very weird. It doesn't look like a big level, but it looks like we're going to have to do a lot. We're going to catch the train though, and we're going to go and get that sheep costume. I shouldn't have come through here, should I? I shouldn't have done this. <laughs> oh, what a little git. All right, let's wait for the train. Gonna be waiting for about 30 seconds. So uh, yeah, we've got 20 seconds to wait. So uh, how you been doing, Wolf Morphette? Hope you've all been doing well. Hopefully the weather's been pretty decent in whatever country you live in. In England, it's uh, primarily been raining. We are due to have another like two week long bloody heat wave uh, near the end of August down in the south of England in Merry Old Essex and London. But um, yeah, other than that, it's been nothing but flood rains. So uh, hopefully the country, hopefully the weather in your country has been a lot better. What does that do? Oh, that <laughs> speeds up the train. Man, I wish they had a button like that in real life. So many times you're sitting on the train for like flipping for about 15, 20 minutes before the train finally leaves. Like I don't mind like sitting on the train waiting for like 20 minutes when it's like there's disabled passengers that need to get on the train and they need to be helped on and stuff like that. But when it's just people faffing around because they don't know where their ticket is and shit like that, that's when I get really annoyed. Then I don't want to wait. Oh, I can get off whenever I want. Oh no, it's like slowing down now. Where the hell am I? I don't even know where I'm at. I don't, I don't know when to get off. <laughs> this ain't how trains work. Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. All right, that's what I needed to find. We've got a boulder there. Are we gonna cause a train accident? Because I'm not up for doing that. Oh, I guess the train, I guess the boulder's gonna slow, yeah, the, the, it's gonna stop the train, ain't it? And then we can jump on the train so that we can get to the, uh, to the, uh, sheep costume. Yeah, that's gotta be what we gotta do. Because otherwise the front of the train, if you press the stop button, the front of the train will be over there. Oh. Fucking hell. Well, that train didn't give a damn, did it? What's the matter with you, Ralph? What are you doing? You see that? You had like a seizure or something. You're right, buddy. Might have to take you to the doctors. You're going to carry on having little seizures like that, buddy. That's not good for your health. Oh, 
man. It's like that scene from. Oh, what'd you put me back here for? It didn't go bloody. It didn't go red then. You see that? All right, don't jump off on the wrong bit this time, stupid bee wolf. Man, I shouldn't have done a blind playthrough with this game. I should not have done a blind playthrough. <laughs> but I wanted to do it blind. I wanted to uh, enjoy the game with you guys and girls and finish it with you guys and girls. I didn't want it to be like uh, a game I've already played. I wanted to see if I could get through it on camera, like I have done with all of the other PS1 games. Is it already over there? Yeah. I'm assuming that this rock was... I mean, I suppose we can... I don't get the point of that boulder. I really don't understand what the point of that boulder is. I guess we need to take the boulder somewhere. Maybe we need to take it somewhere else. Actually, I've got an idea. Okay, I forgot about the back carriage. Right, we're going to grab this. Sweet, that's the only item we need in this level. Now we're going to have to wait for the train to come back. I don't think I'm going to be quick enough. Nah. I think what we might need to do is if we take this boulder back to where Daffy Duck is, we could put this boulder on that blue button. Then we can chase Roadrunner and Roadrunner will get trapped and maybe we can catch Roadrunner and maybe there's a reason that we need to do that. I'm not 100% sure, but yeah, we might need to take this boulder back with us, possibly. But then how am I gonna how am I gonna take the boulder off the train? Hmm. But I'm still not sure how we're gonna get the sheep away from Sam. That's what I don't actually understand. Because even though I've got a sheep costume, if I start barring at the sheep and we start walking away. Oh, I didn't press the button, did I? Uh, but if I uh, start barring at the sheep and he starts following me, then uh, Sam's just gonna pick us both back up and bring us back to the paddock, so. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not too sure. A lot of waiting around in this level, that's for sure. Right, but I'm gonna slow the train down and we're gonna take that boulder back to where Daffy is and we're gonna try that, because I'm assuming we need to do some little road runner. There's gotta be a reason that he's there. Don't wanna press it too soon, because it goes green very quickly. Yeah, we can bring it with us. All right, hopefully the boulder stays <laughs> on the actual train. Let's see if I can even push it off the train, actually. Is it gonna let me push it off the train? Guess we'll find out. Because I think we could put it on this blue button over here. And I don't think there's anything else on the map that we can use the boulder for. Why does it always look like we can... No, I was going to say, it looks like we can do something in there. Maybe we can break it open or something. There's a catapult over there. Alright, hopefully this works and this is actually what I'm supposed to do. Oh, no, we can't push it off here. So we must need to take it somewhere else. All right, we'll stay on the train for a minute then and see, see where we can push it. I'm assuming it... All right. Maybe... Maybe here? Can we, can we push it off on this bit here? But then what, what do we do with it? <laughs> what do we need it for? Oh, we need it for that. All right, so we need it for that catapult. Okay, well, I'm not even sure what we need to do with that catapult, to be honest. Well, we're working things out slowly. I mean, I've got no idea why we need to do any of these things, but at least we're making progress. That's all that matters in this game. Yeah, you do need to bring it here. Okay, right, so... Do 
You think we could lead Sam over here and just like launch Sam somewhere? <laughs> I still don't get what the point of Roadrunner is. There's Roadrunner over there. Right, let me put my sheep costume on. Let's see what happens. <laughs> oh, well, that's a bit violent, ain't it? I thought you liked sheep. I think I've got an idea. I'm not too sure if this is going to work or not. This might end horrifically. But if it goes right, it might actually... It might actually be genius. Because sometimes I feel like they put things in these levels that you don't necessarily have to use. Sort of like when we did that level in the marsh with that crocodile and uh, when Daffy Duck was doing the whole rabbit season, duck season stuff. I feel like that level as well, we did it in a completely different way than what was required. Although I feel like I accidentally cut too much of that, that video out, so you might not have actually seen what I did. But I, I swear I skipped a few stages. <laughs> so you don't necessarily have to do it the way they show. I think sometimes you can like cheese it a little bit. Right, I've got an idea, I'll show you. It's, it's gonna be difficult to describe, I'll just have to show you and hopefully it works. But we can, we can get Sam to follow us. And then when the train arrives, it's going to block him, so he's going to be stuck on the other side of the train. So he won't be able to get back to the sheep for like 30 seconds. And then we could pick up the sheep, place it on the seesaw, and then we could catapult the, uh, the sheep over to the other side, and then we can take it to the goal. That's what I'm thinking. I don't know if it's going to work, but it might be pretty genius. What's that? I don't know if there's a ledge there. That might be where the bonus clock is. So what I'm thinking is, so what we could do, Sam will follow me as a sheep. I think he will follow me. I'm pretty sure he will, although he did punch me a minute ago. So I think what we can do is we can bleat at sh uh, Sam and he'll follow me over here. And then the train will arrive and it will block his path back to the sheep. Then we can like, I don't know, we could quickly jump onto this and fling ourselves over the train, then we can quickly go and grab that sheep and Sam won't be able to stop me because the sheep will, the train will be blocking his path back. Then we could put the sheep, then we could put the sheep, yeah. Yeah, I think I know what we need to do. Right, we're gonna have to do this precision. This has gotta be absolute precision, I think. So what we need to do is we need to bleat at Sam. Then he's gonna follow me over here, hopefully. Then we can jump onto this. The train will arrive, hopefully, just in time, and then I'll, he'll push that button when he's following me, and I'll get flung over there. Then the train will be blocking his path. Then we can quickly grab that sheep. Then we can put it on the uh, catapult, uh, on the seesaw, fling the sheep over this side. Then we can just take the sheep to the goal. Yeah, that might work. We might have done it all for more bets. That means I might not have had to have spent like 50 hours in this level. Yeah, and that's why it gives you like 50 seconds of time near enough. It's gotta be what you need to do. It must be that. I can't think of anything else you'd need to do. I don't get how Sam can't see me here. It's actually hilarious. Right, so I'm, we're gonna have to wait for, uh, wait for the train to leave. Let me press the button and see if it will leave instantly. Hopefully it doesn't leave me on the train. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to have to set this up first. I don't know how powerful we want to make it, because uh, if it's too powerful, then uh, it's probably going to fling me to like my death. Let's keep it somewhat in the middle, I guess. Right, so I suppose we can test it with that rock. Right, so what I'm going to do, I, I really hope this works, is we're going to bleat at Sam. He's ignoring me. It's kind of a good job actually, because I didn't even press the button over here. So even if that plan had worked, then it would have failed. 
Right, press the button. Okay. We can't do it too soon though, because otherwise if the train doesn't arrive at the right time, then he's just going to run back and he's going to beat me up. So we want to wait probably for about 10 seconds, I guess, maybe. That's it, that's it. Right. I don't, oh please. I've got to make sure I don't step on the button by mistake. Watch, ready? Now if he steps on this button. Yeah, that's it. Right, now we're quickly getting nude. <laughs> yeah, I bet you're confused, Sam. I don't want Sam to come back just yet, because if he sees the sheep... What's Sam think he's doing? What does Sam think he's doing? And look at him! He's patrolling the goal! He's a flipping camper! Sam's been on the call of duty! same thing again then. I don't want this to reset because I think we might have, I don't know, this this must be what you need to do. It's got to be, ain't it? <laughs> we can get Sam to follow us. Hey Sam, look! No, you better not be going after the other sheep. He went back to the goal. <laughs> ah! I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Oh man, I hope he hasn't picked the sheep up. Well, at least we know what to do. I don't really know how we're supposed to get Sam to get away from the goal. He's being a right filthy camper at the moment. He's being a cheater. Apologies if you can hear the leaf blower. There's uh, people doing a load of gardening in the uh, school, so if you can hear that, I do apologise. Bunch of leaf blowing, and I've got a couple of those uh, petrol head streamers, so if you can hear that, I do apologise. The sheep's still there. Are oh, you camping shit? <laughs> Maybe I just need to lead him all the way back over here. Yeah, okay, so what we, we need to do the same strategy again. Yeah, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to stop the, uh, we're gonna have to stop the train. Uh oh! Jesus, that's one quick puppy. Right, I better do this quick, because he actually takes a bit of time to walk over, doesn't it? We might have been a bit too slow. Come on, Sam. 
Hurry up, Sam. You're going to get run over by a train. Come on. Ah, what now? What now? What now? <laughs> Quick. Quick. <laughs> Quick, before he learns how to jump over the train. <laughs> I'm surprised he can't jump over the train. Oh, yes, I think we've, oh, we've done it, boys and girls. We've done it. Absolute genius. It took me a bit of time to get used to this level and see what we had to do, but I worked it out relatively quickly. I only need to cut like one bit out, I suppose, and that was after I died and had to get the boulder back. Are we going to another level? Is this another level? I don't remember the loading screen looking like this before. It's like some sort of mash trap, didn't it? You remember that board game that you could play, Mash Trap? That was a great board game, wasn't it? I think we've done it. Unfortunately, our show is nearly over. Thanks to all my fans out there for staying with us through to the end. See you soon. What's this? What's Marvin the Martian doing here? This wasn't in the script. That insignificant little earthling? It looks like that ridiculous creature reached my planet because of a blunder you made, is that right? Hmm? Well, let me tell you how your friend got here. I was just getting ready to test my latest weapon, the PR-200, a very practical tool which reduces any living species to one-tenth of its normal size. For the experiment, I enlisted the help of a devoted member of my army. I was just about ready to test my invention, when suddenly, an invader smashed into my water tank at full speed, and the whole tank collapsed all over my army. The accursed invader looked like a black sheep. It was utter chaos, but after a super Martian effort and the help of my fantastic PR-200, I managed to get back most of my army. Isn't that delightful? Wait, I haven't finished yet! My army is still incomplete. A somewhat rebellious unit has gotten themselves into a sticky situation, and it's risky to get them out. I, Marvin the Martian, don't plan on taking any unnecessary risks. It's up to you to repair the damage now, by returning to me my lost instant Martians. Come, canine! Sit, boy! Oh no! Oh no, they put us in another level! <laughs> so I guess that's the sheep that we accidentally shot into space when we did level number 13 after we took Yosemite Sam's ship. Yeah, and I guess that sheep's gone there and caused all sorts of problems and now he wants me to collect his weird green bird people. 
Oh no, I don't want to do that. I thought I was finished. I thought I succeeded finally. Stupid game. <laughs> Stop giving me more content. I've suffered enough. This has been one of the most irritating PS1 classics I've had to replay. The game's been brilliant, but the camera angles have been frustrating as hell. I mean, all I see is a bunch of platforming, to be honest. Oh, we'll have a look. We'll see what we've got to do. To capture my instant Martians, you'll have to use this vacuum compressor. When an instant Martian comes anywhere near it, activate the compressor with your remote control. The instant Martian will be compressed and sucked in, then sent to me through this pipe. Won't that be lovely? All right. I think I'm going to do this next time because I think this might take quite a bit of time to do. If it ends up being uh, relatively short, then I'll just add this on to the end of uh, this video, I guess. But if I do it, it's like 20 minutes and it'll be its own video. But yeah, thanks for watching, Waffle Bets. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Like, share, and join the pack tonight.